many people find their passion later in life, while a select few are lucky to be born into it. I got in to Muay Thai by my dad. He used to bring me into the gym. And then when I got a little older, I fell in love with it and then just started doing it. At just 13 years old, Olivia Basus already knows her life goal, becoming a professional world-class Muay Thai fighter. I wanted to become a world champion once I stepped foot into that ring. I love the feeling of the canvas and I love the feeling of the competition, so I knew right away. Muay Thai runs in her family, as all of Basus' siblings and parents train. The gym is kind of my home because my whole family is here, and it's, it's really great to see my my siblings training with me, and whenever I don't have a training partner, I usually train with my sis little sister, Linnea. <laughs> Basus is also getting top-notch coaching at the Martial Arts Fitness Academy in Mississauga, under the tutelage of many great trainers, including pro fighter Eric Rocha. It's great to see Olivia. She's really taken on the sport. She's gone you know, across the world to compete. As a coach myself, I've been in the competitive aspect before, so I'm kind of building on some of my own experiences, some of the mistakes maybe I made in the past, and uh, trying to go from there, ensuring that she has a great career. Basus is already on her way to a successful career and has the hardware to prove it. She recently traveled to Thailand for her 11th fight to compete for the 32 kilo junior featherweight championship and faced her toughest competition yet, an opponent with 18 fights. Actually for this fight, I was not nervous at all. My dad said after you have 10 fights, your nerves practically go away and he was right before I went to bed, like right before I fell asleep. I was planning what's going to happen in my fight. The exact thing that happened that I was planning was my hand getting raised up and I was going to get this beautiful belt and that's what happened. For your winner, fighting out of the red corner, Olivia! The 13-year-old has also been sharing her journey on social media and has gained more than 150,000 followers. That was my goal in the beginning when I started my page. I wanted to show girls that they could be whatever they want. You could be strong, you could be brave, and when stuff are hard, you don't give up. You keep going for those goals. Olivia Bassus is back in the gym training as she travels to Queens, New York in May to defend her title. In Mississauga, I'm Brandon Rove. For City News.